Hello. Today I will show you how I integrated this Spidey model into this video footage. And got this result. I have already prepared my model. And plane which will be a ground. So now I going to VFX panel and switching to motion tracking. Now uploading the footage. My footage is several seconds longer than timeline so I making my timeline longer. Now we need to create tracking markers. Most tracking tutorials show the camera walking around the object. But there is no such movement in my footage. The camera shakes a little and the angle of view doesn't change. You don't need many markers in these situation. Even three markers will be enough in this case. And now we need to choose tracking points on our footage. We have to choose very little and very contrast points. For example in this footage we have several apples on the ground. These apples are quite contrast but we cannot use it because they are too big. So I am choosing another three little points. For better tracking I switch to perspective mode. Also I turn on normalize. It necessary in in case when your tracking points have change of light conditions. And now we are ready for the tracking. Just select all markers and press tracking button. Also for better result you always have to do reverse tracking. So I press button to back tracking. As you see it is blazing fast. Now I go to the solve section. And there is very important to activate tripod mode. This is the mode that should be used for such footages. Don't use this mode if you camera walk around object. So I press camera solve button. After that I got solve error 0.39 pixels. It is a very good result. But now the camera has not yet received information from the solver. So let's go back to the layout. Switch to camera view and make active camera view checkbox. In camera settings find background image tab and upload footage. It led us to better match models with a ground on the footage. Set numbers of frame to 340 and set opacity value to 1. Move you model to better matching. Now my model's position set up not very good. But I fix it later. Now I go to the camera constraints and choose camera solver. Let's play animation. As you can see now the camera receives information from the solver and moves as we wanted. Now I want to change model's position. But before that I have to disable camera solver constraint. Good. Then I switch to wireframe mode to better see footage. Nice. We have finished with the tracking. But what about light conditions? Well, I use HDRI only. And if I press render I get this result. We don't want to see HDRI on background and also we don't want to see the plane. So I turn on transparent background in render settings. And enable shadow cacher checkbox in plane object property. Now we need to combine this result with the footage. Go to the compositor. Create image node and upload the footage. Set frames number to 340. Combine footage and render result with alpha over node. As you see Spider-Man is too big. And I could move him from camera and viewport. But I decided to fix it with the scale node. Also to move Spider-Man down I use transform node. And the last node what I will use it is blur node. 3D model always sharper than video footage so I blur it a bit. Also you can play with brightness, gamma and color balance. But I leave everything unchanged. That's all guys. 
Please subscribe and thank you for watching.